Hello, my name is Dominic Najafi and I'm part of the Jaguar Design Team. And welcome to the first instalment of a sequence of short films that will give you an insight into the design process. Um, and welcome also to my home, uh, the kitchen table, where uh, of course we're still trying to stay at home and stay creative. So I'm going to uh, do a sketch today. I'm going to sketch the amazing Jaguar I-Pace, Jaguar's first electric car, and uh, talk a little bit about how to do that. Sketching is still a very traditional um, part of the process, but the more you understand sketching, the better you are at sketching, the better chance of understanding uh, the further stages, the digital phases. And so, um, and also it's, it's such a joy to do. It's relaxing, it's like a hobby. So, uh, okay, I'm gonna try it in real time. So uh, let's get started. Okay, so here we are, completely blank page, no one delay. Let's make a sketch. Um, we're gonna do the side view of the car because uh, that is really the best way to describe what type of car it is and also um, analyze the proportions. You'll see car designers do it a lot. It's a great way to describe first principles. So with iPace, quite a long wheelbase uh, to package the batteries. So the wheelbase is probably about um, two and three quarters um, long, if you like. So there's first wheel, I can sketch the second wheel. It's okay if the rear wheel is a little bit bigger, sometimes that makes the sketch look very dynamic. Um, Okay, so we've got the wheels roughly in place. We're just hinting at them for now. Pencil, keeping it really loose. Um, just want to really get the spirit of the car today. So we have this sort of like upper sill line that runs right through the car. And that really grounds the car. So you start with these, these lines basically of uh, the lower sill. You can think about the ground, now you've got the wheel in. This is an SUV, so um, it's still quite low riding, very sporty, but there's a bit of ground clearance. So we can just sketch that in. Um, and get the car to sit on the ground. So we've got this um, sill line. Then we can start to think of the key lines in the car. You have the body wide line and you can see the relationship between them. We'll have more wedge on this line in the sill. It can be done differently in many different cars, but this is how the I-Pace gets a very dramatic forward momentum stance. And the belt line, uh, even, even more wedge. So they kind of um, fan out and to create a lot of direct movement. So with the wheels, let's just hint at the wheel arches as well to get a um, bit of grounding of where everything is and we can build surfaces from there. The iPlace has these real wheels, large wheels in the corner. The motors are on the axle so the overhangs can be kept very short and um, that really gives the car that wheel, wheel at the corner dramatic stance. The Without the engine of course we can move the windscreen forward and go very fast, really fast on a supercar-like cab forward design. Um, so we get the A post in there. And then if you think as well of the height of a car, two wheels high gives a very good kind of length to height ratio. In other words, the car will look very sleek. But because it's a sketch, we'll, we'll exaggerate that slightly and give the roof a lot of tapering downward uh, movement that that grounds the car to the back. Okay, so a rough roof line and some basic principles in there. Now, uh, let's think about the, the haunches and the fenders of high pace. We've got a very prominent front haunch um, that's quite short, actually, because the rear one is, is larger. And again, this contributes to that kind of that cab forward appearance and that forward momentum in the car. Um, Okay, and the rear haunch is higher than the front again, just to uh, work with the whole wedge of, of the of the design. The body wide line, by the way, is is a, a line that again runs right around the car usually, and, and that creates a lot of light and shadow, breaks up the body side. It's a very precise line. So now we've got those, and let's just think about the corners slightly. Again, very um, short rear overhangs. So and the eye pace has this almost quite cut off, um, very aerodynamic tail actually. The car develops in the wind tunnel, of course, for maximum efficiency and performance. And let's get the front end in here, the corner on the car. The bonnet appears actually, again the bonnet almost, it's very low and almost disappears behind this front haunch. Again, giving this very dramatic and sporty appearance. Give it the windscreen. From here we do the very, again, really 
fast rear screen. So the so the glazing, the cabin, it's very dynamic, it's got this very uh, you know exaggerated feel. Um but no, it's got very modern actually. And then um and we can look at now a bit more detail with with the with this sill feature. iPace has this um on the light catcher, which is a surface that catches light again to break up the, the body side and creates a lot of uh, dynamism to the surfaces. It actually has a gloss black light catcher, very technical kind of piece, cuts through the car. So just give it a bit of shading. It's a key part of the design in the side view. We can get the, let's finish off that bonnet actually, that nose, a low nose, to get this, um, the Classic kind of Jaguar headlamp in there. It's very um, distinctive, very assertive shape. And then get a bit of this detail in. This, this very um, cool side feature, which is like this flush gloss black side cheek. So it's a very aerodynamic surface and links with the gloss black of the light catcher on the side. Um, right. Well, let's look at what's called the DLO. The DLO is this side glass shape. And, you know, a car can be very distinctive with the DLO and almost you recognize the car from a great distance just with this graphic. And the I-Pace is, again, a really fast starting point and then someone's done in three curves. And it really does ground the car to the back. It's a very, uh, very distinctive shape. The rear screen... You see a lot of it in side view because it's got so much shape on it and wraps around really, um, really dramatically. And so you'll see a lot of the rear screen in side view. And then we've got this really cool spoiler. It's a flow through spoiler in reality to keep the air attached down the wind rear window. It doesn't need a doesn't need a wiper. And um, very important part of the car, really. Really, um, again, very distinctive. Okay, so the car's kind of getting there, kind of coming to life. Um, on the lower surfaces, on the sill, my place has these very sculptural surfaces that, um, again, perform an aerodynamic function and um, keep the air attached running down the sill. Let's go to the rear, look at the, um, the rear shapes and again a bit of detail you'll see this diffuser again fully developed for performance in a wind tunnel. A bit of shade into the rear so you start to understand the car, the shape of the car. Let's get the pillars on just to give a bit of size context. And a hint at the interior from the other side. And this will, even though it's a side view sketch, you still want it to have a bit of perspective and a three dimensional feel. So little things like that just bring it to life slightly. I'm going to do this quite quick, of course. We do have usually more time than this, but to keep this, uh, this quick, I'll just keep it very loose. Um, on the body side then we've got this horizon line that can that can describe the way the um the way the wheels flare out uh, very subtly but they flare out to give the car a really nice stance so you can just describe that with a bit of shading as well and then let's just finish this chin feature off where we've got There we go, and um, a bit more definition to the ground. Right, okay, so let's look at giving the wheel a bit more detail. So we can just sketch the dish of the wheel. This will help us shade in the, um, the windows, the gaps between the spokes. And let's do a nice kind of five spoke design. I pace one of the wheels is 
very technical looking and aerodynamic and this has the directional blade spokes again create a lot of excitement the appearance of the car and we've got these carbon fiber inserts that reduce the weight of the wheel but still enhance the aerodynamic qualities of the wheel to improve range okay let's do quickly do it on the rear Got the five spokes just gesture the five spokes in there then add a little bit of detail get those turbine kind of those blades in there carbon fiber inserts let's keep it really speed this up a bit okay right one more little detail we can get the door mirror in and this can um, you know when you start to think about the next phase we're going to render the car bring it to life more you can already at this stage start to think about okay where's the light source and if you imagine the light coming like from the top corner this mirror would create a kind of shadow like that and that shadow can just describe again a bit the form of the car and bring the sketch to life a little bit okay so we've kind of got everything roughly the right place so we can now just get a bit more precision to sketch so let's give it um let's just get a bit more of the feeling of where the wheels really are same on the rear Maybe go slightly bigger on the rear, just to exaggerate the sportiness of the car. And again, the, the wheel arches as well. Let's get those wheel arches in. Do this quite quick. Move those around. Okay, and then a bit more precision to some key lines that just define the car, the structural elements of the car, like the, the sill feature, that body wide line as we just discussed. And even the ground actually will get the car to sit really well. Okay. And then we can just get a bit more Shading to the ground, just to understand where it is on the road. Okay, so we're nearly there for this phase. A really quick sketch that just captures the essence of um, of I pace. A set of very dramatic design, intelligent packaging, cab forward kind of stance. Very exciting to, to look at when you see these on the road. It's a real treat. Let's get these door shuts on quickly. The door shuts again just can describe the form of the car. We hint at the charge point. Um, door handles as well, these flush door handles on the side that are, again, just give the car a very clean technical look. Okay, pretty much done. That is now kind of ready for the next phase. It's a very loose, quick sketch that captures the essence of the car. And now we can look at taking that to the next level. Okay, I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Um, sketching, you know, this part of the process, we'd have hundreds of sketches at this, uh, this stage, at the early stage. Uh, it's still the most spontaneous way for a designer to communicate the idea, communicate their vision of what a future Jaguar should be. And it's a really exciting part of the process and also very competitive. This is where designers are really pushing each other to high levels to, um, to win the chance to, to work on, a, on the next Jaguar. So uh, now with this sketch, a uh, bit rough, but um, now it gives you the idea. And it's now time to take this to the next level. So I'm going to pass over to now to one of my colleagues, Matthew Bevan, who is going to take this on to um, take this now into Photoshop. So uh, here we go, Matthew. Here's the sketch coming to you.